Good evening everybody. A very warm welcome on this cold night to our Friday night prayers. The prayers I'll be using are from Saint Polycarp and he wrote these in the first and second centuries. So let's come before him. Let's come before our Lord and our Saviour. Let's come before our Father in heaven by the power of his spirit and let's offer ourselves afresh this night to him. Let's pray. May God the Father and the eternal High Priest Jesus Christ build us up in faith and truth and love and grant to us our portion amongst the saints with all those who believe on our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for all the saints. We pray for rulers. We pray for the enemies of the cross of Christ. And for ourselves we pray that our fruit may abound and we may be made perfect in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord God Almighty, Father of your dear and blessed Son Jesus Christ, we thank you for life and we thank you for the experiences that we live through. May we make those experiences glorifying your name. Thank you for allowing us to know you through your son and thank you that you are God over all, over angels and other spiritual powers, over the whole of the created universe and over those good people from every age who live in your presence. We thank you today for the privilege of being counted among those who have witnessed to you with their lives, of sharing the cup of suffering which Christ drank, and of rising again to life everlasting with him in body and soul and in the immortality of the Holy Spirit. May we be received today into your presence, a costly sacrifice and so an acceptable one. This is all part of your plan and your purpose and you are now bringing it to pass. You are God of truth, and in you there is no falsehood at all. For this and for all the other things you've done for us, we bless you and we glorify your name through our eternal high priest in heaven, your dear son, Jesus Christ, who shares with you and the Holy Spirit glory forever. And we think, Lord, of the feeding of the 5,000, the bread scattered over the hills. And then when it was brought together, it fed many. May your church be brought together to feed many to the ends of the earth into your kingdom. For yours is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ, who is our miracle worker, who is our rescuer, who is our companion through life. O oh Lord our God, who has bidden the light to shine out of the darkness, who has again wakened us to praise your goodness and ask for your grace. Accept now in your endless mercy the sacrifice of our worship and our thanksgiving and grant unto us all such requests as may be wholesome for us. Make us be children of light, the children of the day, 
the children the heirs of your everlasting inheritance. Remember, O oh Lord, according to the multitude of your mercies, your whole church, all who join with us in the prayer, all our brothers and sisters by land or sea or wherever they may be in your vast kingdom who stand in need of your grace. Pour out upon them the riches of your mercy so that we may be redeemed in soul and body and steadfast in faith. May we ever praise your wonderful and holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we offer to you our own prayers of this night, we think of all those grieving this time on this night. For those who mourn, we pray for your comfort. In particular, we pray for the family of Reverend Keith Burrow. Keith, a good, good man. Bless his family. And hold him as you hold them, as you hold all of us, now and forever. Amen. So good night, everybody. God bless and take care.